Hi everyone, welcome to Study Simplified. Today our topic is homogeneous differential equation. So basically, in the question we have one differential equation, and we have to find the solution of that differential equation, which is represented as y is equal to f of x. Okay, so we have two variables x and y. Now among that, x is known as the independent variable, and y is the dependent variable. Why is why is it so? Because whenever you are changing x. y would be affected but x is not depending on anything so x is independent but y is depending on x so this is known as the dependent variable so this is the, known as the solution of differential equation so let us see what is the procedure how we can get the solution so let us understand the procedure by an example this question was asked in telecom 2005 gate paper a solution of the following differential equation d square y upon d x square minus y divided by dx plus 6y is equal to 0 is given by what so we have four option among that one is correct so try this question by yourself and then i can give you the solution so please make a note of some key points first is this y is in numerator so this is the dependent variable this x is in the denominator this is independent variable okay so whichever term is in the numerator it is dependent variable the term in the denominator is independent variable this is the first point the second point the order here is the order is 2 so it is higher order differential equation or you can simply say that because the value of n is 2 it is second order differential equation so both the names are correct okay so if you again analyze this differential equation you can say the multipliers the multiplier is 1 at the first A differential coefficient the multiplier is minus 5 at the second differential coefficient and here the multiplier is 6 so whenever the multipliers okay the multipliers are constant or they are in terms of independent variable which is x in this case then the differential equation is also known as linear differential equation all this are the theory points because some of the gate questions are also based on the theory point of view but the real question is how to check whether the given differential equation is homogeneous is homogeneous or non homogeneous differential equation okay so this is the real question so for that you have to do some calculation wherever d square upon dx square is present you have to substitute as capital d square if we have d by dx it would be substituted as capital d after doing the substitution you have to check whether your equation is of the format f of d into y is equal to 0 or f of d into y is equal to psi if your case 1 is satisfied then it is known as homogeneous differential equation if it is case 2 then it is non homogeneous differential equation so basically if you look at the case 1 the right hand side should be zero then only you can say it is homogeneous but in the case 2 if right hand side is constant or it can be in terms of independent variable so in that case it would be treated as non homogeneous differential equation So the first task is to convert this given differential equation into the format of f of d into y is equal to something. So let us do that. What I have done is the substitution, right? I have told you in the previous slide. This is the substitution you have to perform. So after doing the substitution, you can clearly see the next step is d square y minus phi capital D into y plus six y is equal to zero. And if you rearrange it, okay, if I rearrange it, I will get so it would be d square minus phi d plus six into y is equal to zero. So this is matching the format f of d into y is equal to zero. So basically, it means our differential equation is. homogeneous differential equation so up till now we have converted the differential equation in the form f of d into y is equal to 0 and we have made a conclusion that the given differential equation is homogeneous differential equation and whenever you have homogeneous differential equation the solution the solution is y is equal to f of x that is general but to get f of x the steps you have to perform is complementary function plus the particular integral you have to find complementary function and you have to find the particular integral so let us see what are the steps involved to get complementary function and particular integral to find complementary function you have to first get the auxiliary equation now auxiliary equation is very simple 
you have f of d right instead of d you are writing m so replace d with m you will get f of m and equate it to 0 to get the roots of the equation so if i equate it to 0 i will get the roots of the equation the root is 3 comma 2 now please make a note this roots this roots are of three types the type 1 is they are real and same the type 2 they are real and distinct okay and type 3 they are pair of complex number yes we have three types okay it is complex number so in this question the roots are real and distinct which is type 2 so please make a note the roots are real and distinct and hence the complementary function is c1 e raised to m1 x plus c2 e raised to m2 x so again make a note in this step 4 we are finding the complementary function and complementary function is always different for the different roots if the roots are real and same the complementary function is different if the roots are real and distinct you can clearly see the type of the complementary function would be c1 e raised to m1 x plus c2 e raised to m2 x and the third type was roots are pair of complex number in that case also you will get a different complementary function now the point number five which is finding the pi which is particular integral there is benefit in homogeneous differential equation the value of pi is always equal to zero but this is not the case for non-homogeneous differential equation so for non-homogeneous differential equation you have to find the particular integral but for homogeneous differential equation the particular integral is zero now you can clearly say that the solution of this differential equation is y is equal to cf plus pi from the previous slide i got the value of cf and from this slide i am getting the value of pi so cf was c1 into e raised to m1 x plus c2 into e raised to m2 x remember that m1 and m2 are the roots of the auxiliary equation which i have substituted here okay so the values are 3 and 2 respectively so this is the answer of the differential equation and uh, yes it is in terms of y is equal to f of x but there is a problem c1 and c2 in the options c1 and c2 were not there so here you have to make one assumption let us assume c1 and c2 as 1 and let us go back and check whether our answer is matching to any of the options yes answer is matching to option b where you can clearly see that c1 is equal to c2 is equal to 1 they have made the assumption because no boundary conditions are given so again you have to make a note if boundary conditions are given then you have to find then you have to find c1 and c2 but if boundary conditions are not given you can assume it okay you can assume it or you can leave it alone because in some of the questions they are giving us the option which contains okay so which contains the boundary condition so sometimes you have to assume sometimes you have to uh, leave it as it is in terms of c1 and c2 okay i hope you like the video all these concepts tricks and techniques are important for gate examination because in gate examination you have to solve more question in less time all these techniques tricks and concepts you will find in my engineering mathematics notes so if you want to buy the notes sir, the contact and the email id are on the screens now तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज श्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट